Happy Holidays from the Toy Room. Sorry about that. I had to disappear and take care of some business, but I'm back now. I used to love that time of year in the winter when my mom came down from the attic with one big box. That big box contained all the things that she needed to decorate for Christmas. The lights, the decorations, the tinsel. The lead tinsel that she used to use was phased out after the 60s because they thought it might be a hazard to children. But even after that, she used to take the tinsel off the tree meticulously, strand by strand, and lay it out in newspaper, and fold it up and put it back in the big box for use next year. And there was something else in that big box, a battery-operated Santa. This is not the original Santa that my mother had. I'm not sure what happened to that, but I was able to find one of these at a toy show or an antique show many years ago, and I thought it was a perfect condition copy. It's very clean, but I realized when I got it home I was a little disappointed because this Santa should have two presents and this one only has one, so I guess this Santa is one present short. It used to perhaps puzzle me and maybe amuse me a little bit that this, this Santa was sitting in a house that was much smaller than him, of course, so he must have been some kind of giant Santa. And it, and it had kind of a nice little tin litho house. And on the side, here's the side with the switch. And uh, there's a chimney on the side with a little snow on the top, and that's nice. And here's, here's the back of the little tin litho house. I was also fascinated by the tiny presents that uh, Santa held on his knee because I thought there must be tiny little gifts inside those boxes and I wonder what's in there? And even now I think there must be something in there. This battery operated toy was made in Japan in the 1950s and I also have the box for it. It's not very well made but it's still nice to have the box. Kind of an odd illustration of the Santa on the front of the box. It doesn't really look all that much like the toy. There's another illustration on the side of the box, and you can see that his eyes are twinkling. And on the end of the box, there's another little variation of the illustration. Now, if you have small children watching this video with you, you may want to ask them to leave the room because they may be frightened by this demonstration. But here, we'll switch on the Santa, and you see that basically his eyes light up, and he rings his little bell. And he rocks around a little bit. I always thought the eyes gave him a nice little warm glow, but some may think it seems kind of demonic. We're going to take a look at this with a little lower lighting here and get, get the effect even a little more. Of course, this is with pretty much no lighting, so what do you think now? Well, I guess that wraps up this toy room present to you. Hope you enjoyed your visit with Santa. Holiday cheers from the toy room. Until next time, keep your feet warm and your bell ringing.